Kalthum says, we read the history of the prophets and often we see references of historian and their books and sometimes even Israeli narrations. So in short, uh, uh, what can we believe and what can we disbelieve? So uh, uh, especially when it is the history purpose, like the age of early prophets, the children's name, and so on. Well, Kathum, the Prophet والسلام, answered this, and the, the scholars categorize whatever narrations we get from the people of the book. So narrations we get from the Old Testament, from the Torah, from the Jews, from the Christians. In Islam, we call it Israeliyat, the Israelites, things coming from the sons of Israel. So what's the ruling on what we hear from them? Well, it is categorized into three types. The first type is what we must believe in. So whatever is in the books that fits as a glove with what is in our Islam from the Quran and Sunnah, we accept it and take it for granted. We believe because it, it is actually from our Quran and Sunnah. So it coincides with it. We believe in it. The second type is what goes against our religion, goes against our belief in the Quran and the Sunnah. So we totally reject it and we would not accept it. And we would say that this is a blatant lie. Why? Because it goes against our Quran and Sunnah. Simple as that. The third category is what's in between. Meaning that it doesn't go against the Quran and Sunnah, yet it does not, or it is not confirmed by the Quran and the Sunnah. So in these type of stories, we do not falsify and we do not believe. We just refrain. For example, a lot of the Muslims think and believe that Israel is the name of the angel of death. Allah mentioned the name of the angel of death in the Quran as Malakul Maut, the angel of death. And so did the Prophet والسلام, in the hadith. Never ever they, uh, we were told that the name of the angel of death is Israel. We know that the name of the archangel Jibreel, peace be upon him, the name of the angel who's supposed to blow in the trumpet is Israfil. The name of the angel who is appointed with rain and the growth of plantation is Mikael. So some folks would say, okay, it rhymes. It sounds good. Israel sounds good. No, it doesn't. We do not say his name is not Israel. Yet we do not confirm that his name is Israel. And hence we call him as Allah has called him in the Quran and the Sunnah as Malak al Maut. This is what we are supposed to do. So I think this answers your question in regards to the stories we hear about uh, uh, the, the, the prophets, their ages and the son's names, which comes from the Israelis. Uh, uh, stories or from the from the sons of uh, Israel, uh, Bani Israel, we uh, refrain from falsifying it or believing it if it does not coincide with the Quran and Sunnah and it does not go against the Quran and Sunnah and Allah Azza wa knows best.